Shalom one. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Bashmi, Awashah, Bashmi, Rakak, Wadash, and double honor to the apostles of the Great Millstone and salutations to the Yakim out there to continue to further this ministry throughout the four corners of the earth. And Shalom one to those that are learning and listening and growing thereby, as well as the Brother Mark come in responding to what happened to this man here. He got caught slipping the second time. Now, if you don't know who this man is, this man is the health secretary of the UK. And um, as you can see, his name is Matt Hancock. Now, the first time he was caught slipping was when he was under strict COVID rules earlier this year. And while he was under these strict COVID rules, being told to stay at home, he was outside playing rugby with his son, getting all muddy. So he got caught again. As you can see it recently, this was aired out on the 25th of June, 2021. He got caught by the CCTV kissing an AIDS woman. And this is nothing more than a fool. And the reason why I say that simply because he's disregarded his title and what he's supposed to stand for. You know, as the health secretary of the country. And really what he's basically saying based on his actions is that don't take seriously what the government is telling you about this whole idea of, of COVID. And, and you know what, how it's killing a certain amount of people as presented to you. Especially you brothers down here in the UK anyway, most likely. So, um. <clears throat> like I said before, you know, this is nothing more than a foolish individual. And that's all you have running this country. All you have is a bunch of fools, especially if they're reading mites anyway. As it says in the book of Ecclesiastes 10 verse 6. Because not only is Esau known as the wicked that the Bible speaks about, but they're also known as the folly. And the reason why they're known as the folly, this is a nation that does not keep the commandments of God whatsoever, but formulate their own laws and they rule the world based on their laws and, and how they and how they see things fit. So anyway, let's read this. Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low place. So were the rich the rich is referring to us, the Israelites, that are sitting in low places. Low places meaning we're at the bottom of society. And it could also mean that we're in the we're in the ghettos. We have no power. And the folly, as I'm going to say again, represents the so-called white man, which they're the most foolish nation above all nations. Even Job said that too, that they were foolish and base men. I'm roughly paraphrasing what he said in the book of Job 30, I believe it's 33 or 30, the 30th chapter. <clears throat> and um, Esau has always been known to come up with rules and laws and, and break them. Just like how they broke the uh, the treaties which they formulated with the North American Indians and they broke every last one of them. I believe it was about 100 plus treaties they broke. So um, this is a nation you really can't take seriously. I mean, you can't take a nation like this seriously when they result to wrath because they get down when it comes to wrath and bringing in the evil day as what the scripture says. The Lord have created all things, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So when they bring the day of evil, you can you do take them seriously in that case. But we're not going to take them that seriously to the point of fear of them because we know that the Lord controls them and we know that it's the Lord that wounds and he also kills. All right? So if it's set up for you to die by an Edomite whether he's a cop or whatever the hell he is, then it was sanctioned by the Lord ultimately, you know? Because it's not in the will of man that things are done. It's by the will of the Lord. And that's what we always say. Because it's the truth. Of the reality. That we live in today. So anyway. Let's get something else. This is uh, Habakkuk. Chapter 2. And we're going to read. Verse 4. So it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just 
shall live by his faith. Exactly. And this is the proof that his soul is not upright in them. Because here it is, these Edomites, they tell us one thing, but then they do another thing. And they can't help themselves, man. You know, and this just goes to show you, as well as that they couldn't ever keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father. As I'm going to say again, they couldn't even keep their own rules. They couldn't even keep their own laws. They break their own rules and they break their own laws. So how much more of them keeping the commandments of the Heavenly Father? That's why the world is a mess. <clears throat> That's why no laws are being kept on this earth. And I'm talking about not just the laws of any, but the laws of God. The laws of God are not being kept whatsoever. Just like Habakkuk also said, right? In verse 4, Therefore the law is slacked, and judgment do have never go forth, for the wicked do have compassed about the righteous, and therefore wrong judgment proceedeth. That's why you have a bunch of our people that are being um, wrongfully accused of a crime they didn't commit. And I mean, you know, there's a list of problems with this society, man, that we're under. And that's all because of wrong judgment proceedeth. Because you have a people that are not upright in spirit and soul. And therefore, they're not keeping out one of the laws of the Heavenly Father. And you can't really get mad at them for doing that because that's just who they are. Their, their spirit is not upright in them to keep the commandments of God. They couldn't even keep their own commandments. But anyway, I don't want to you know, make, make this video too lengthy. I just want to make the point and be done with it. But yeah, this man was caught slipping, kissing the nade on the CCTV, got leaked, and now it's going viral. And this is just further showing that, again, we can't take these devils seriously, man. Because they themselves don't even believe the shit that comes out of their mouth. So that's all I got to say. So with that, I say Shalom.